Selfless TV. Um, I apologize for the months long break, but I cannot miss a Christmas special. I've been having these things going on for like three to four years now, so I cannot miss one. Um, but I do want to say welcome back. Um, and uh, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, even though it's a little late. And uh, Happy New Year, again, even though it's a little late. Uh, but well, it doesn't really matter. Um, but yeah, let's just hop into it. Um, because the reason I haven't been posting is because hardware issues. Because I have like a five-year-old phone that's running out of space. Okay? But that doesn't matter right now. Because I cleared up enough space just to make this video in itself. So, let's get it started, shall we? Starting off, boom, a members only jacket. It fits in with my wardrobe quite nicely. These used to be the shit back in like the 80s. And of course I'm an old head, so goes pretty well. Um, so yeah, I mean, the first gift, not too shabby, not too shabby at all. I, I appreciate it. Appreciate its feel, its fit, its color. And uh, yeah, so first gift, pretty well done. Uh, I got more clothing, such as a UT jacket. I don't even go to UT. I, I'm not a Longhorn, but I guess if I'm ever going for them for like football or something, I guess I could wear this UT jacket. Um, also have more clothing in a Cobra Kai shirt. Um, some might say that Cobra Kai is just kicking it, but set in the uh, Karate Kid universe, so, I mean, kicking it's a great show, right? So, Cobra Kai, gotta, it's gotta be as good, right? Yeah, yeah, it's gotta be. Up next, we have a candy, a uh, sour candy, um, it's supposed to be fancy. What is my dog scratching up? I don't even know. Uh, it's supposed to be a fancy candy, as you can see by the light shred color and the packaging in itself. I think I tried a little bit when I first got it, but I don't really remember what it tastes like uh, since it's been so long. So now we're a food review channel. Uh, let's try. Oh my god, that was a lot more than I wanted. Jesus Christ. Um, let's just get a little piece here. I mean, it's candy, sour candy. Um, I'd say B tier on my list, like a B tier. Not too bad, I guess. But all right. Um, so yeah, candy. Uh, not bad, I guess. Uh, moving on. Oh God, it's all fucking sour shit on my table now. Moving on. Um, you have a. Tactical pin. Yes, a tactical pin. You might be wondering, what is a tactical pin? Well, apparently, a tactical pin is a pin, but made out of metal. So it's pretty hefty, pretty hefty. Uh, it's got a glass breaker on the end of it, so you just stab glass if you ever need to break glass. Um, it also has a flashlight. God damn. Uh, pretty bright. It's got extra batteries. And believe it or not, but it also doubles as a pin. So you can write stuff with it. And it has um, waterproof ink. So super tactical. Um, so I guess I'm the next 007. And I'm fine with that. If I get paid his salary, that is. Uh, so yeah, tactical pin, pretty nice, pretty nice. Um, up next, we have a watch. This was from like a Secret Santa thing. So it's not a Rolex, but it tells the time. And I guess it's more convenient than like taking your phone out of your jeans and then 
looking at the time, and if your phone is too dark, you gotta turn up the brightness, and then all that. I guess it's a little more convenient because you can just look at your wrist and tell the time. So it, it's a watch, so it works, and I'm fine with it. Um, up next, you have a custom 3D printed pumpkin bomb from Spider Man Green Goblin. Um, just in time for Spider Man No Way Home. Pretty nice, pretty nice. The coloring is nice. I think it also glows in the dark, if I remember correctly. So, I bet, um, Champagne is rolling around, well not in his grave, because he's not dead, but rolling around in his um, Spider-Man bedsheets for paying $300 on a Spider-Man figure. And I got a pumpkin bomb custom for free. <laughs> I apologize, but what can I say? Is that a good angle? That's a great angle. Um, this next one is pretty hilarious. Uh, it is a, have you ever heard of this popular game, Amogus? Because this is also a 3D printed keycap for, for Among Us. Imagine, it's Among Us, dude. Among Us. Top game of 2021 on the Xbox, Among Us. Jesus, it's such a good game, bro. Among Us is, like, top, top game ever. It's a feat. Honestly, it's like every game should strive to be Among Us, okay? Uh, so that's, like, the smaller stuff. The next ones are pretty, not big. Well, they're, they're big. They're pretty big. Um... This one, I technically have two of. They're both different, but uh, I'm only going to show one because it's going to take forever to put back. Um, so, let's just unravel it just a little bit. A Scarface poster. Pretty nice. A great movie. Great movie with some great quotes. Great story. Great Characters, great actors, one of my favorite movies, right? And a good poster. Posters, since there's two of them. And they're pretty similar. So I'm going to have to get like a little plastic uh, container thing, whatever you call them, display thing. So they don't, they're, they're made out of paper. They're going to rip eventually. So i going to make sure I get the right display for them. Another... Uh, kind of similar thing is something I hope comes from a channel sponsor when I get popular enough when I don't get the same 30 viewers uh, but once I pop off hopefully they become a channel sponsor this plate metal poster of Drive the movie one of my favorite movies along with some like Scarface Honestly, I think it's like number one favorite movie. Um, I don't know why, but you got like, I just like the movie. Okay? You got the lightish red. Um, it's actually like darker lightish red. I don't know how to kind of explain that, but got the scorpion jacket, something I own. Uh, don't have with me though. Pretty sure you guys seen it. And, uh, I'm pretty sure you have. Pretty nice metal. So it's not going to tear like the paper one. And uh, yeah, I can just stick it onto the wall and have it there. And put that right there. Um, and I'm pretty sure this is the last but not least. Um, let me step out for a second. Okay, here we go. Hang on. You got some new boxing gloves from ringside pretty nice pretty nice they are red white and blue of course what else would i have come on got stars you got stripes got the colors you even got a bald eagle on the thumb 
uh, and they're apparently made out of IMF tech. It just means it protects your hands better because that's what they're supposed to do, right? But like the last gloves I had, the the uh, foam inside ripped, so that was pretty annoying. They kind of split on the lip, on the knuckles. So what's the point of having gloves? It's not going to protect your hands. But these ones, so far so good. Pretty hefty, pretty stiff, but not too stiff. They feel like an ex extension of your hand rather than a pillow on your hand. So that's pretty nice. Pretty nice. They feel great. Look great. Just like everything else that I've got. Uh, except for the candy. Candy's bead here. But, you know, I'll enjoy it, I guess. And, uh, yeah. I think that is all. Um, good Christmas. Good, good haul, I'd say. Um, nothing huge, but I'll take it. Is some good stuff, stuff I could represent for a good while, good while, and uh, yeah, uh, again, I hope you guys had a great Christmas and a great New Year as well, and I hope you enjoyed this video, um, and I hope you enjoyed the annual series up to this point, and hopefully next year will be just as good, if not even better. And, uh, yeah, uh, I guess I will see you all guys later. If I overcome my hardware issues, you could expect the video sooner than, like, three months. <laughs> like, in my last video. Um, so, uh, yeah. Again, hope you enjoy. I guess I'll see you guys later. So, uh, yeah. Bye. Great video.